bring in Tennessee Republican Senator Marsha Blackburn. She joins us now. Senator, great to see you. Thanks for being here. Sure. Um, so spell this out. Um, first of all, what is the case that Republicans make? If somehow Democrats were able to push this through and there was a Christmas miracle, what does your party say will happen to the average American family in the new year, 2022? What kind of costs would they be looking at knowing we know the average American family is already on the hook for about 3500 more dollars this year because of inflation. Where would this lead That's us? That's right. And Sandra, that additional $3,500 per family per year is if you're treading water and you're doing exactly what you did last year. That is the estimate in the increase in cost. Now, what it does not take into account is what is going to happen for your child care cost. This bill, this bill back broke bill, as I call it, it would raise your child care cost $13,000 per child because what they want to do is eliminate your churches and faith-based organizations from providing child care that you can use, get a subsidy. They're basically trying to take over the child care industry. I have not had anybody in Tennessee tell me they think child care is broke and that the federal government needs to intervene. And they like going to their local church for Mother's Day out and daycare and enrichment programs and after school care. Also, you're going to see an increase in energy taxes, in tobacco taxes, in liquor taxes. All of these things are baked into this bill because they have to have 10 years of tax receipts to pay for one, two, three years of different programs. And their bill is not a $1.75 trillion bill, it's closer to a $5 trillion bill, and it's not paid for. Mm. It is going to put an additional at least $3 trillion of debt on the books that our children and grandchildren um, are going to have to pay for. You know, and, and, you know Dick Durbin, uh, the Democrat from Illinois, he says that's just speculation. Uh, <laughs> however, that was the CBO score, uh, taking into account um, many of right. those 10-year yep, ten uh, ten plans. Uh, as far as the polling on this, obviously Republican, uh, Republican Party, your party, is highlighting the fact that this is not polling well with the American people. Right. They are hurting because of inflation. And when asked, will Biden social spending plan help or hurt the economy 42 percent say hurt will the social yes. spending plan help or hurt inflation uh, and push it higher 46 percent senator so they're seeing that and apparently pivoting now and i'll let you tell me what you believe the fate of the social spending plans are in the new year in just a moment but it appears they're pivoting at least verbally as our own chad program put it for now to an effort to pass voting rights uh, but he says the chances aren't great there either so what do you see the democratic party doing on those efforts to pivot in the new year Yes, they are trying to pivot to their election reform bills, as they call them. I call them the freedom to cheat bills because it would make it easier to cheat. It would make it harder to clear the roles of those that are dead. It would make it harder to update any of your roles. It would make it harder to use a voter ID. It would make it easier to register ineligible voters. All, and it would put taxpayer-funded elections on the books. People don't want that. And the Democrats are going to have a hard time hitting a 60-vote threshold in the Senate. So they're kind of in a rock and a hard place. They've been pushing this leftist socialist agenda, and the American people are paying attention. They're smart. They figured it out. They know what they're paying at the pump in the grocery store. They know what travel costs are. They're looking at this and they're saying, no, this is not what we voted for. It's not what we want. And no, we're not going to support you in this. So, Senator, final thought, only five seconds or so to go here. Uh, do you see the social spending plans dead in the new year? Or will, will, will they be it revived? It is going to be. They're going to try to revive them. I don't think they're going to be successful. And thank goodness people are realizing what this is going to do to their pocketbook in the new year. People are feeling it. Senator, appreciate yes. you joining us. Thank you. Thank you.